Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. So uh, today I'll be talking about a quick PowerShell script which I've created. I've already explained it into my YouTube videos. Please uh, go through this YouTube video, uh, go through this article about checking a user's permission on all site collections. So uh, this particular very small PowerShell script will help you check that particular user's permission on all the site collections. Now uh, this script is not going inside of each and every site collection to check that user's permission whether what permission it has and where it has permission. Uh, it, this just tells you whether this user has permissions on that site collection or not. Okay. Uh, and this will this will if you want this to be modified if you want much information from it just let me know I'll see what I can do about uh, providing you better information but uh, I have tried that it becomes a little difficult to get more information on that okay so the first part of the script is you uh, use the connect hyphen SPO service to connect to that SharePoint uh, admin center I have already run this command so I'm not gonna try that again then we uh, run the second command which is uh, at all uh, site collections so if I go to dollar all site collections and I hit enter I can see that all my site collections are now listed or all my site collection URLs are now listed over here and I can see all the site collections uh, which I am part of or which are available in the whole tenant now the next script is about for each what it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, check uh, now over here I have already given the user which I, which it needs to validate the permission for is Alex Alex at uh, this email address which I've mentioned it'll, it's gonna go to each and every site collection and look if Alex is present through one of the other group in that particular site collection or not it can be that particular site collection has everyone permission if it has everyone then also it will be able to tell me that this user is present over there so I just run this second part of the script uh, this is a very quick short video to explain you this is now gonna this is now starting to show me result that yes has permissions on this site collection does not have permissions on this site collection so it's giving me a very detailed explanation very good idea if you want to export this to a csv file as well there's a very small command export command that you need to run so you can store all these results onto a variable and then ex, uh, have it exported into a uh, a CSV file very simple very basic uh, but if you want to know uh, what permission this user has then we have to run few very complex command that's also not very easy it takes a lot of time for us to uh, write that part of it and if you want to know where this user has permission and what permission it has in detail that's a very complex script and uh, I've tried doing that I don't think so PowerShell is strong enough to do that part of it it's 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 not that uh, simple to do okay because it has to iterate to every document library and every items and every permissions to get that kind of detail which is not very easy so uh this at least tells you whether this user has permissions on that particular site collection or not and if this user has permission you can always go and identify uh, what permission it has and and remove it so for example if you want to understand what permission this user has on alex has on a particular site collection let's say uh we have this site collection which is leadership connect or uh, wait i'll take us uh itv support demo i have this site collection i say this says this user has permission on this site collection okay let's try this particular site collection i open this site collection over here and uh, i now if i want to check what permission this user has on a particular site collection i go to this gear icon i go to site uh sorry go to site permissions and I see advanced permission settings once I'm in advanced permission settings I look for check permissions and I look, then put Alex over here this is a user Alex Wilbur I can confirm this Alex W that's correct and I select check now 
it's telling me yes this user has permission and it's been it's part of members group i can reconfirm that by going inside of the members group that yes this user is part of the members group and that's that's where the permission is coming from okay so even if you're a part of a group and you're getting permission it will be able to tell me okay and uh, if 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 you if you want to understand little more uh, some of these sites are actually team sites so it's not telling me only from the sharepoint site it is also telling me from the team site as well this user is actually part of the uh, uh, this user has permissions in that particular team site as well so it's it's also going inside of the team site and giving me that kind of information okay hope this is helpful hope this particular powershell a uh, small quick Chris PowerShell is helpful for you. If you feel uh, any other help that I can go with, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you with any kind of queries or anything with this script. Okay. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.